Hello. Today we're going to take a look at how to configure Python Anywhere to use for web development. Now, depending on uh, how you're getting to this video, I use this in a couple of different contexts. So you may have already used Python Anywhere to do some Python development, and maybe you haven't. I like it for both, so we're actually going to go ahead and use it um, regardless of whether you've already used this system for Python, we're gonna talk about how you can also use it for standard HTML. At this point, I'm not talking about doing a Python web app yet, although we definitely will get there. So the first thing is to log into Python Anywhere. Um, if you already have an account, use that one. If you don't, create a new one. The free account is perfectly fine. You do not need to purchase the advanced account. I happen to be using a new throwaway account because I destroyed my existing web app so I can show you the whole process. So first, you just get into your account, and mine is called ICTE because that's a project I worked on a couple years ago. All right, so now here we are in the main dashboard, and we can write files, we can do consoles, and so on. Um, if you notice, we do not have any web apps. Well, let's go over to the web tab, and you should not have a web app in your default build. If you do already have a web app, well, maybe make a new account. Um, if you knew what you were doing, great, but I want you to start fresh. Um, the free version only allows you to have one web app at a time, and so um, this allows Python Anywhere to also act as a web server, a place we can view files on the internet. So I'm going to click the Add New Web App tab. Now it's going to give me some kind of a little greeting screen that says what my domain name is. Well, you could, um, you know, upgrade so that you could name it whatever you want, but this is fine. It's going to be your user, I, your username, .pythonanywhere.com. On this one, it's icte.pythonanywhere.com. No need to upgrade. We're just going to go next and continue. Okay, now there's a number of ways that you can connect Python to websites, and they're all very powerful and pretty wonderful. Um, but the way I'm gonna recommend us to do right now is called Bottle. I like it because it's a very simplistic environment. It's not as complicated as some of the others, um, and that's what my examples are gonna be in. So make sure you click on Bottle. Um, it will ask you your Python version, uh, I would say, go with the latest version that's supported. You will probably see something later than this. I, I think this is an older account I had. So you'll probably see Python 3.8 or later, that'd be fine. Just the latest version you can do. Okay, um, this is going to give you a default um, uh, app name. So I would say leave that default, we'll use that later. And hit next. And it cranks around a little bit. And now this is your web tab. So when you click on the web tab, it will now have this information, which is pretty great. Now, if you already know some Python, we could talk about how to start building a Python web application. But uh, web apps imply that you know how to build web pages. So for this conversation, I just want to talk about how we can get a basic web page working without Python. Then we can talk about how we add Python code to it. But if you look over this, you'll see some interesting things. Um, we'll come back and look at a lot of these. This static files turns out to be important. We will change that in just a minute. Uh, you don't really need to change anything else. Um, so this is pretty great. Now, once you've got your bottle app configured, please go back to the files tab and then create a new directory. Um, off of your main directory, I would call it web. Now I've already created a web directory. It has a few examples on it that I've already done some things with, but you can just make a regular web directory if you want, but call it web. And notice the path is slash home slash your user ID slash web. Now, any, in, any HTML pages that you want to make, uh, you make in this directory. And you can use the built-in editor 
which if you've used it for Python, it's great. It's also just as good with HTML, so it's a decent little editor. Um, so use this editor to build whatever web page you want. There's sort of a classic, my first web page, showing a few things. Look, I know how to use CSS. If you don't know those things yet, that's fine. Now the thing is, just writing the web page here doesn't mean that you can see it on your browser yet. So what we need to do is one more configuration. So um, after you've created a web directory and maybe put in a page called index.html or something, um, now we're going to come back to, you know, click on the snake to get back to the tabs. Let's go back to the web tab. And um, if you scroll on down here, you'll see this thing called static files. Now, I, I don't want to get too much in the weeds here, but basically what we're trying to tell your web browser is, hey, that web directory, I want to go be able to see files there. I want to be able to, to expose that to the internet. So what you're going to do under static files is you're going to enter a URL, um, and I'm just going to say slash web slash. Make sure you use the slashes and enter. And then we have to tell it the path. Well, that's going to be home slash ICTE um, or whatever your user ID is slash web. You can see it gives you a little bit of a hint. It's talking about my project. Well, we're not going to do that. We're going to do something slightly different. It's always going to be slash home slash your Python account name, ICTE slash web and an ending slash, I think, yeah. And we'll hit enter. Okay, so now what's interesting about that is, um, just to be certain, we're gonna hit this top button, reload ICTE, or whatever yours is. That just tells the web server, okay, you're going to run now, you're going to stay running, and then when people want to look at my web page, they're going to be able to see it. So I like to do a control click, your address. Now this is going to be where you live on the internet. Your address is that. So I like to do a control click to open it in a new tab. And by default, it's going to say probably hello from bottle. That's fine, but that's not really what we want right now. Change that address to web slash index dot html, and you will see your web page. Well, that's pretty cool. Any other pages that you happen to have there, you will be able to put in the address and go. Of course, you'll want to, you know, make an index page that can show all the links and so on. But this is how we configure. Python Anywhere to build HTML and CSS sites. You can practice JavaScript here as well if that's what you want to do. Um, so by creating first a web app, we have turned Python Anywhere into a web server. That's a program that lives on the internet. And then we set up a web directory, which is a static directory we can, we can show pages in. Um, we can build a web page and a CSS file and even JavaScript code in that web directory. And now you have a URL that you can pass around to people or you can um, link and emails and whatever that will now be your address. Later on, we'll modify uh, Python Anywhere again so that you can actually build Python programs that create web pages and that's even way more powerful. All right, see you then.